Dragon Ball Super Superhero. God, that name is still so funny. And speaking of funny, this movie was actually really funny, mostly in an intentional way. It just had a great classic Dragon Ball humor feeling to it throughout most of it, and it really does some great stuff with new and more minor characters, like Piccolo, who is without a doubt the main character of this movie. We are basically following him throughout the whole movie and Towards the back half, Gohan starts to play a bigger role as well. Also, this movie is almost entirely CG animated, which I would describe as a double-edged sword. Whenever the characters aren't doing much and it's just walking and talking, it can, uh, it can look pretty bad. But when it really matters in the fights, the CG animation is actually very beautifully done. I was very hesitant about it before this movie came out, but I can say they did mostly pull it off. I, I think I still prefer art style though. And speaking of Broly, I would say this movie is very similar in terms of my enjoyment of it. Broly was very action-packed and fast-paced, whereas this one's more humorous and feels more adventure-like for the first half. I thought the score was also pretty good in this movie. Broly's was maybe a little bit better, but there were a few moments where I felt like there should have been music playing and there wasn't, and I don't know, the, the movie could have used a couple more tracks, I think. Even if you aren't a fan of Dragon Ball, I think there's still a couple of things about this movie that you would enjoy. Mostly the humor. So yeah, without spoiling much, I had a pretty good time with this one. But now it's time for some super, superhero spoilers. <laughs> Holy crap, guys. This movie was so funny. I was not expecting myself to actually laugh out loud several times, but I did. Mostly thanks to the Red Ribbon Army guys, more specifically Carmine. The part where it shows his like YouTube channel and he has videos that's like Gohan and Piccolo moment number 25 and it has like 12 views. <laughs> and the fact that he has his own production company and his car and just everything about this guy is so funny. Then there's also Dr. Hito, who was alright in this movie. I feel like they could have maybe tied in the Great Saiyaman to this movie, and because, you know, Great Saiyaman is Gohan, and Dr. Hito maybe could have admired Great Saiyaman, and it could have just made the whole superhero aspect of this movie feel a little bit more natural and make the story kind of flow better. But his androids, Gamma 1 and 2, were also great additions to Dragon Ball. More specifically, Gamma 2. I loved the sound effects thing he had going on, and man, his sacrifice at the end was actually a little sad, even though we had just met him. Other characters like Pan, Krillin, Goten, and Trunks were also fine. Bulma was okay too, but did we really need that one ass shot of her? You horny bastard. Oh yeah, and Goku and Vegeta and Broly were also in this. Moving on, they finally gave Piccolo and Gohan the treatment they deserved. Orange Piccolo was hype, okay? I'm wondering what the Gondor looking tree symbol was on Piccolo's back, but man, this guy was just a true Giga Chat throughout the whole movie, and Gohan also decided to pop off in the last portion of the movie. Beast Gohan had a very similar vibe, I feel like, to both Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan and uh, Super Saiyan 4. Felt kind of gruff, calm, yet vicious. Of course, they were fighting against Cell Max, who... I honestly didn't mind, I know a lot of people don't like him, but I liked that it contrasted with Perfect Cell, who was more of an intelligent and talkative villain, whereas Cell Max was just like a mindless, out of control animal, even in the way that he fought. Man, I love that move where like his spots shout out lasers, it, was, it reminded me of like Shin Godzilla. I absolutely loved the way Gohan finished him off though with the special beam cannon giving respect to Piccolo. It was a very warm moment between the two. The movie just really cemented the fact that Piccolo is honestly the one keeping everyone together. He is the dad that stepped up. He is just the true glue to the Dragon Ball characters. Overall, this movie got me excited to see where they go next. I just really hope they don't fumble again with Gohan and Piccolo. This movie did a great job with them, and I hope they don't just go back to the Goku and Vegeta show, but they probably will. It's mostly a comedy until the last 20-ish minutes. Uh, good time, lots of dumb fun, and don't worry, I'm still working on my Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs review. And I think I'll put Superhero right here. Okay, bye.